You are now tuned into Pacific Push. Yo, welcome to Pacific Push on Taste Radio, Dash Radio, man. It's your host, G Money. And uh, today I'm joined by my guy, Old Wave. What's good? What's up, bro? How are you? Shit, good. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. Glad to finally have you here. Sit Thanks down, talk me. to you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know what time it is, man. So, uh, yeah, we finally get a chance to talk talk about what you have going on. Um, been making Perfect. making a lot of moves in Brooklyn, New York in general. Yeah, so, yeah. so for the the listeners that are out here, um, tell them who O Wave is. Like, where you from? What you represent? Yeah, my name is O Wave. I'm from Best Star, Brooklyn, New York. I also have a team called A Wall. It stands for Ambitious Way of Living. And yeah. Just pushing, push, trying to push the culture forward. Talk to us about your come up. Like, when did you start rapping? How long you been taking it seriously? Those type of things. Yeah, um, I started rapping at the age of eight. I started writing the composition notebook and everything. Like, actually, it was a time where I was in school and I got suspended. I got suspended for writing a diss record to a girl. I think because she ain't like me or something, or she was trying to play me or some shit. I can't really recall why. It had to be something like that. But I made a diss, I made, um, a diss song to her, and I used to always write in class. I was the first. I never really used to do my work like that and all that. I don't, always, I don't tell kids not to do their work or nothing. Kids, follow your dreams. But have that school, have your school correct, man, your grades, everything. But me, I didn't really like school like that. So I used to just write songs every day like but my teacher used to think that i used to be drawing or something so she just it was just one day we was at lunch and i guess she went through my desk and she found my composition over with all my raps and then she seen that this that this song i had towards the girl and i got suspended for that they called me up they told my moms everything i got suspended for that man I started off, that was the age of eight. I started writing. And one person that really inspired me, an artist that inspired me to rap, was 50 Cent. I will never forget when I seen um, Winkster, when I seen the Winkster video. When I seen Winkster, I'm like, nah, this dude official. Like, I started mm-hmm. buying the do rags, all that. I used to wear the do rags. We used to have a little tank top. I used to buy the 50 Cent. Um, Jewelry from Nana Sisto because they used to already have <laughs> the they used yeah. to have all of that in the Nana Sisto already. They had like the they used to have like the um the Yankee. They used to have like the Yankee logo on the chain. They had the fifty cent, they had the G unit chain. I used to buy the fifty cent and the G unit chain that fifty cent is who's really inspired me like to to, to start rapping. I'm not say right. favorite rapper. I might say because actually my favorite rapper is Lil Wayne. Understood. But 50 Cent, 50 Cent is also up there with one of my favorite rappers, but that's how, that's how I started. And then when I started taking it serious was at the age of, I could say, middle school. When I was in middle school, I was like in what, eighth grade? I was like in eighth grade. And I started recording myself on a desktop. And I started putting my music on MySpace. You told us about the Wankster, your the inspiration from Fifty Wankster. Right. Then you got you got suspended from middle school or got suspended for diss songs at eighth grade. Long story short, you've been rapping for damn near twenty years as far as yo, like having yo. love in the game. You know what yeah, I mean? And, and you're still like, very young. Yeah, so uh yeah. <laughs> once you said MySpace, I was like, all right, we got we gotta bring it back because yeah. that's taking that's taking it back there, bro. For like real, the, the G unit jewelry. But um now that's great because it, it, at least you know, um, you've seen how the how the music game hip hop exactly. has changed in the past fifteen exactly. twenty years. Now, with the emergence of drill, like, where do you see yourself? Like, how do you feel you fit in with the new scene, the new wave? You know, mm-hmm. no pun intended, in Brooklyn. So, you know, what's the mm-hmm. old wave about? Like, what do you bring to the game? I feel like I bring everything to the game. Like, I don't I don't put myself in one box. Like, I wouldn't just call myself a drill artist because I call myself an artist. Period. Because I'm a type of person, I make all types of music. Like I make drill, I make melodic shit. I'll probably make some Afro 
beats type records. Like I make everything. Like I literally make everything. So it's just a part of liking every music. Like I listen to every kind of music, and I appreciate I appreciate music. Period. Like I also I'm I'm actually a big R and B fan. Like I love R and B like more than I listen. I probably listen to R and B more than hip hop, bro. Like same, bro, same like, here. Same here. Nighttime. I love hip hop, but I love R and B. Like I listen to that shit every every yeah. day. Like nighttime at night, I got to turn down with the R and B, especially if I'm driving. I can't too much aggressive word. aggressive content to fuck up my day. I got to get in my quiet bro, storm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I can't, I, yeah, I can't listen to certain shit like twenty four seven. Like I got to probably hear that shit like in the afternoon or something. But at night, I listen to them some slow jams, man. But yeah, I, I bring everything. Like I'm, I'm just here to make great music. Like I'm just here to great, make great music, bro. I don't, I don't put myself in a box. I don't no, put that's in a box. yeah, and, and you're very versatile. Like, um, mm-hmm. again, I, I like the Casamigos. Casamigos you, is tough. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it sounds a lot different than um, yeah. sounds a lot different than Minister Society with my yeah. guy Grammy Quay. Yeah. Shout out to Grimy Quay, shout out to Yellow Zoo. They from the star too. And they they some some talented artists that's coming up too. Like and we actually we we thinking about um coming out with a um a joint tape. Actually me, Zoo and um like Mano gave us a call the other day. It was, it was yesterday and he spoke to us and all that and gave us some advice and all that and where directions we should go to go with with this um collaborative effort like we all put together and shit. Yeah, no, nah, that'd that'd be a great look. That'd be a great look. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like the the tracks in it, y'all definitely have chemistry. So right. we'll be on the lookout for that. You right, know, I'm right, definitely right. have I'm gonna definitely get some sneaky tracks early so we can get in rotation yeah. what we gotta do. Got you, man. Yeah. What is your relationship with Mano and Hustle Hard? Yeah, with Mano, Mano that's like that's like family. Like I met Mano through my bro um Herb. My bro Herbie. Um, uh, Mano, like, that's like family. He, he, like, we made a, a song called Militant. That was like 2014. Yeah, we actually made a record called Militant. Shout out to Unique Weirdo. He produced it and everything. We had a record called Militant. That's when we started clicking. You feel me? Like, he actually started hearing other, my other records. He said I had talent and all that. But it's also, you know, Herb is like family to him too. So it made sense. Like it made sense why we clicked. And then I used to go out with them all the time. Still to this day, we used to go out to clubs. I was I was a young dude seeing everything, being around me, you know, like and one thing I can always say about him that I learned from without him even telling me was his work ethic. That is, he's a workaholic, bro. That nigga, he was bro, he would shit, sleep, everything in the studio, bro. Everything is music to him, bro, and working. And he had to party after. Party, but that music come first. That's dope. You know, Mano stay solid. You know what I'm saying? Right. Big style action, Gates Avenue right. shit. So, right. you know, that's great that you have someone in your corner that right. can um, give you game and, and introduce you to a lot of what you're trying to, you know, aspire to be and, and right. how you're moving now. So, you know, shout out to the whole gang. You feel me? Yeah, Quay as well. Hard, man. Shout out to Quay. Yes. Shout out to Grimey Gates. You know, yeah. the whole squadron. So, um, so so, what are your plans and or what are some of your goals for 2020, 2021? Like, do you have a project dropping? What's, what's, how you pushing it? Yeah, I have a, um, a project dropping. I don't know when I'm actually dropping it, though. I think I'm, I'll probably aim for, like, middle of March, probably. But yeah, I have a project dropping. I actually ain't dropped a project in like two years, like so. But I just, I just been dropping singles after single after singles and stuff. But I'm finally gonna drop a um a project sometime, probably like March, probably the middle of March. And I'm just dropping, I'm just dropping records, like like how the Casamigos thing came about was like I'm like yo during the during the um pandemic and everything. Everybody, you know, when they everybody was getting their checks and everything. <laughs> yeah. Everybody getting a check, bro. Everybody yeah. was buying Casamigos. Bro. Yeah, like, that way. You see, you see Casamigos and you seen Azul, but Casamigos is really because Azul already had his name in a way. It did. It already had. His I was name drinking that shit for ten years, man. But yeah, you know when, you, when yeah, the streets people, get it. Yo, yeah. bro. I, yo, bro. I didn't even know Casamigos been out, bro. Yeah. 
like people told me like that should been out for me like Casamigos and all that. But I just started seeing people buying Casamigos here and left and right. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'll make a song. I'll make a song called Casamigos. Like, cause I ain't gonna front, bro. I'm this is one the advice I give to artists is too. If something is popping, a word, some sneakers, a sweater, a saying, somebody make a record about it. Make a record about it. And I'm telling you, it's going to go crazy. But you got to make the right record, though. Because I had a song. I don't know if you know. I had a song called Cardi B Chick. Yeah. I had a song yeah, called yeah. Cardi B Chick. That yeah, shit like went, 20, 2016, right? Yeah. Yo, bro, that shit went crazy, bro. And she posted it. She posted it like five times, bro. Like, she loved the record. Like, I wanted her to get on the record, too. Like, I was working on trying to get that remix. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she ended up getting with Offset. I know, since so she got with Offset, it's like, oh, I gotta respect it. You know what I mean? One thousand but, percent, bro. But, hey, yeah. you, you were on to something. So, you know, keep yeah. it trendy. Keep, yeah. it, keep keep the respect to the art. But, you know, right. um, so, you know, we're going to look forward to that, man. And, and you just have mm-hmm. to keep working, man. So, it's right. a new year. Uh, outside of that, with your with your team, man. So before we get out of here, you know, let us know about your team, the members, whoever else you you working with, any producers, and and ultimately mm-hmm. how the people can find you on social media as well as um whatever digital streaming platforms your music's on. My team is called AWOL. It stands for Ambitious Way of Living. I also we also have a clothing brand. And the IG for the clothing brand is called AWOL.NYC. A-W-L dot NYC. So we have clothing brands. We actually coming out. We had, um, we came out with some caps like a couple months ago. It, it sold out like in two days. We also came out with, you no, know, we're coming out with Varsities. I'm, I'm, um, I posted it on my IG, my archive. I'm going to post it back. I'm going to post it back. Uh, yeah, yeah just, just let the people know where they can go find and check out. That way they can go purchase everything. Yeah. So you, A- you told at them. AWOL, at AWOL.NYC. Bet. AWOL.NYC. Every, everything is there. Everything is there. All right, it's I'm going to check and tap it into it myself. So outside yeah, of bro. that, let them know how to get in contact with Old Wave and, and you know, yeah. to stream Casamigos, Minister yeah, Society, yeah. Cardi yeah, B yeah. Chick. I, my, my Twitter. My Twitter handle is at O Wave at O underscore Wave W A V, but instead of an E is a three. Instead of an E is a three. Instagram, my Instagram is at O underscore Wave W A V E. So you can find me on Instagram, all that, Twitter, or you just Google and put O Wave. You're gonna find all my music there. Extreme Casamigos. I just dropped another video called Jiju. Um. I dropped a lot of I dropped a lot of records. I got a lot of records dropping soon too. So just keep in, in touch with me. Follow the IG. Yeah, man. Hey man, yo, again, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us here on the station. We're gonna continue to support you. Thank you for having Wish me, you nothing bro. but nothing but success, my brother. Keep it heavy. Appreciate keep doing that. it for the star. Do it for the right. star heavy. Do it for Brooklyn. Got it. It's only right, bro. It's only right. You know that, man. So yo, this is G Money. Finished up with Old Wave, man. We're going to get back yeah, into the yeah. music. Let's get it.